hitting the ground running. The new BRICS Bank vice president is a beat. The president of the bank and the four uh, vice presidents were effectively uh, appointed uh, a week ago uh, in Russia. So we now officially work for the bank. Uh, on Monday, uh, the uh, 19th of, um, uh, um, sorry, the 20th of uh, uh, July, we have the official opening of the of the offices in Shanghai, where the mayor of uh, Shanghai will be in attendance, the minister of finance uh, from China will be in attendance. So we we are literally starting the ground running. Um, the manage, senior management of the bank uh, already are employed by the bank, so we are expected to report for duty, if you like. The official launch comes at a time when Africa is battling to deal with the problem of electricity. It's likely to be a, a project, I believe, in the energy sector because energy is high priority, not just for South Africa. For each of these economies, um, energy is, is uh, and in all economies really, energy is an essential ingredient for an economy uh, to grow. Um, as you know, uh, power has been a constraint in, on our growth in South Africa. Um, so, so funding a power project in the first instance, I think, is probably going to be high up on the list of priorities. I mention power because I know that uh, and, and with all my engagements with the National Treasury and with the South African government, I know that a developing a long-term plan is high priority for the government because in order for us to create the jobs that South African economy so badly needs, uh, we need to stimulate economic growth. In order to stimulate economic growth, you need the power. So it's kind of a bit of a virtuous uh, cycle. We've got to start uh, somewhere. And um, uh, it's likely also that we could be funding projects in the region as well because whilst the five member states are the core uh, um, uh, participating countries where, where the projects will be housed. We could also fund projects that are cross-border, for example. Infrastructure development remains key in Africa. The potential to have a hydro uh, uh, power project where multiple countries uh, in the sub, uh, sub-Saharan African continent can benefit from would be an iconic uh, uh, achievement if we could uh, uh, do it within a shorter space of time. Now this project has been spoken about, Sophie, for a very long time. Uh, you know, it is, it is obviously complex in character because it involves multiple governments. Doing anything across multiple jurisdictions uh, is difficult because you're dealing with different uh, legal uh, and regulatory regimes. You're dealing with different policy uh, makers, each uh, with their own uh, cabinets. South Africa will host the regional office of the BRICS Bank. The agreements made provision for a Africa regional center, effectively a regional sort of head office of uh, the new development uh, bank. And that office will be housed and located in uh, Johannesburg and the location has been decided on in Santon. The establishment of the bank is a big achievement by the BRICS countries. Sophie Mguena, SABC News, Johannesburg.